Hi, I'm Jeff Ward, AMGA instructor team member. After arresting a crevasse fall, here's the next step. I'm going to want to get an anchor into the snow and transfer the load. I put my picket in my pack, so I'll have to pull the pack off to get in there. I want to keep it nice and close. I might get pulled a little bit, so we'll keep it nice and low here. And remember, we're going 10 to 15 degrees off a of perpendicular to the snow. We're eventually going to be clipping our bite knot there. So as this digs in, we'll get a little length but I need to keep it close enough to where I can hammer it in. If I had an, a hammer, I'd use that. If I don't, I'm gonna use the back of the ads, which is definitely more work than a hammer, but you can still make it work. And if I have the space, I can use my ice axe to get that wire, making sure I'm not sticking this in my leg. That can help cut that in a little bit. But now I'll take a locking carabiner, clip it to that bite knot, and then with ice axe in hand, I'm going to stand up and slowly transfer the load onto that anchor. Okay. So as I'm transferring that load, that anchor is still being backed up by me being clipped in. If I feel good about that anchor, I can unclip. I'm still tied in here. If I have any sort of anchor failure, back into self-arrest. Now I need to decide how strong I think that anchor is. If I think it needs some help, I'm going to put another anchor in before I start moving towards the crevasse and figuring out how I'm gonna rescue the person in there. Another option for the load transfer if you don't have that bite knot tied in there is to transfer the load to a friction hitch. This is a little bit more work, but can still be done. So I'll pull off a friction hitch while I'm holding the weight, tie that. I'm gonna go with a three wrap prusik. Make sure it's nice and clean so it'll hold. Slide that out, transfer the load. And now my person's just hanging off a single friction hitch, skinny cord, just friction. So I'm going to want to back that up with something a little more secure. So if I have enough rope here, yeah, it's a little tight. I'll just go with a clove off my harness. Now you can see the friction hitch is backed up. And if I feel like this is a secure place and that anchor is solid, then I can come out of the rope. This is a has been a popular system in the past. Uh, people use this then as their haul line. Uh, we can set up a bunch of different systems hauling on this line. But the problem with those systems are this line is often dug in to the lip of the crevasse and creates all kinds of problems. Friction, inability to get them over the lip. So transferring to uh, a knot and getting another line to them is usually the better option.